Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into something super cool topic how to create an AI tool that can summarize our text using Python. So guys, uh, if you have ever wanted to shorten long articles, summarize news or extract key points from a document, this video is for you. So we will be using the powerful Hugging Face Transformers library and a pre-trained AI model to achieve this in just a few lines of code. So let's get started. So uh, first we need to import the pipeline function from the transformers library. So I am using this from transformers import pipeline. Uh, this function makes it super easy to load and use pre-trained AI models. Here the transformers library provides access to the thousands of powerful AI models for tasks like text summarization, translation and question answering. So uh, now let's create a function called summarize text that takes a long piece of text and return a summarized version of it. So I am going to create a function called summarize here uh, this function will take two arguments the first argument will be the text and the second argument will be the maximum length so I am defining here the maximum length is 50 and now I am going to create a variable called summarizer and in this variable, uh, I am going to assign this pipeline module that we have imported. And in this, I am going to define summarization. And because I am using this summarization task, so I have to define this summarization. And now I need to define the model type. So I am using this model t5 dash small uh, here basically uh, we are loading the t5 small model uh, which is trained for summarization specifically so why we are using this t5 small model because uh, it is a powerful text to text model developed by google uh, it is lightweight also but it still provide excellent summarization result we could also use uh, e other models like fb bart model which is more advanced but slower in uh, progress and also we can use other models which require GPUs and high powerful machines to run so I have used this uh, T5-small model uh, which we, we will be using because uh, it can easily run in our local machines alright let's proceed further uh, and after uh, defining this summarizer variable I am going to define another variable called summary and in this summary variable I am going to define the variable summarizer and in this summarizer I am going to insert two arguments the text and maximum length variable which is equal to maximum length uh, here and maximum length is equals to maximum length because we have already defined the length or maximum length in the argument and then I need to create another variable the minimum length variable and the minimum length would be 20 alright you can adjust these values by as per your requirement and I am using this do sample which is false here so what are we doing here basically uh, here we are using this minimum and maximum length controls that how long the summarization would be and do sample variable here ensures a deterministic summary all right so after defining this let's use this lit return and we are returning our function our function is complete now uh, Let's create a long paragraph and use our function to summarize it. Alright. 
so for this condition i'm using this if uh, statement and in this if statement i'm using this name parameter which is equal to yes this is mean so I am going to define my long text variable long text so uh, I have already uh, written down my long text if you have any for uh, I am using this text as an example uh, you can read it uh, it is a long text about uh, artificial intelligence and I need to summarize this text so I am going to insert it into my variable and after that I am going to create another variable called summary result and in this variable I am going to call my function summarize text and pass the argument long text here and after uh, saving the result into this summary result variable and I am going to print it into my screen so I am going to write it like this summary slash n summary result all right so after summary uh, the result will be printed in the next line so as we discussed that the long text variable stores a paragraph inside and passes it to our function and after that the summary will be printed into our console basically when we will run this script our ai model will automatically generate a concise summary so let's see the result uh, there is something wrong it is saying here red here what is the issue maybe it is double equal to yes uh, I should have right here uh, double equals to instead of one let's run it so uh, it may take less than a minute to basically run and process the summary so you can also read the text here and uh, it is saying something so here it is saying that uh, it cannot identify this task so instead of yes uh, I should have right here this summarization the with a small s all right so let's again run this script to see if it is working fine uh, I should have clear the screen first but let's see the result now it is saying something about a uh, minimum length uh, it is basically about the spelling I think yes uh, I have uh, there is a typo here it is also saying a typo you can see that the typo length let's first clear this screen and then again run this to see if it is working fine or not so as I said uh, it can take up to uh, a minute to process the summarization and print it into the console yes it is returning in a byte format uh, because we return the text in this form we need to use indexing here we need to return instead of our function we need to return this summary variable and in this summary variable I need to use indexing so basically after we have defined this zero indexing I need to use a specific format called summary text so basically it is a predefined uh, module into this into this summarizer function that we have created 
by using this pipeline module uh, it will return the summary of the text of the long text all right let's see if it is working I included all the errors into the video because if you have may because uh, if you make mistakes and so you know that if this error occurs it means that something about the spellings and if this error occurs that's something about the model that we are using so basically each model has its own unique uh, syntax and unique uh, parameters that we need to use because we are here we are using the exact predefined modules that are pre already trained all right so here uh, we have it so you can see that uh, ai is widely used in healthcare finance and technology sectors so companies are leveraging you can see that we have a uh, have the concise summary of the long text that we have given to this model and it returned the concise sum so guys uh, and that's how you can use the python and ai to automatically summarize long text so uh, whether you are summarizing news uh, articles reports or research papers uh, this technique is super useful uh, if you found this helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more amazing python project thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video